What's going on YouTube? How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. So today, I have a secret to tell you. The secret is how to get the most out of your cowboy boots. How to get the most life out of them. How to extend that, extend that life as much as possible. Now before we talk about this and get into it, please don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button below. The like lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm putting out. The subscribe gets that content to you more easily. Now let's get into it. How do you make your cowboy boots last longer? What is the secret to it? Is there a big secret at all? You see so many different uh, shoe and boot care products on the market today. So many different companies, so many different types of products, shoe polishes, you know, different types of shoe polishes. We got different types of leather cleaners and leather saddle soaps. A saddle soap is just a leather cleaner, by the way, just in soap form. You have, um, heel and edge dressings, you have leather dyes, you have rags you can buy, rags you can make, and then you have all different kinds of brushes. Little brushes, big brushes, and they make littler ones than this, and then you make bigger ones than this. So what do I need out of this to make my boots last longer? What is the secret product? The truth is that product, that one product that you need to make your boots last as long as possible and take care of them the best that you can is a leather conditioner and a lot of people myself included like this one from Bic more. it's called their Bic 4 Bic more Bic 4 <laughs> and the bottle says Bic more Bic 4 leather conditioner cleans conditions polishes protects and it will not darken finished leather which is a big pro bonus because sometimes you have to test these in inconspicuous areas on your leather and sometimes those inconspicuous areas might become more conspicuous if you, if it don't work for it so now what is the importance of leather conditioner of Bic 4 why do you need to use it why do I need to use it it's pretty much a moisturizer for your leather so leather is made from skin right and skin your skin whenever it gets dry it tends to crack whether it's on your face or on your hands you know if your hands are feeling dry you're gonna use some type of a hand cream on them. If your face is feeling tight, uncomfortable, you're gonna use a face lotion. You wanna do the same thing for your boots because the same thing's gonna to happen to those. Once they start to get dried out and you don't address that situation fairly quickly, they're gonna to start to crack. And those cracks, if left unattended, will develop into holes. And once you get holes in this part of the boot, yeah, a cobbler really can't fix that. They can resole and reheal a boot, but they really can't do much about the actual boot itself once it starts to get damage into it, once it starts to develop holes. It's kind of, you know, once it's done, it's done situation there. Now, how do you apply a leather conditioner? You can actually do the leather conditioner one of, one of three ways, actually. One is with your hands. It's not gonna hurt your hands whatsoever. It's not gonna irritate your, for most people, it's not gonna irritate your skin. It might if you have extremely sensitive skin, but for the most part, you'll be fine doing it just with your hands. You can also use a um, rag, and the problem that I found myself with doing it with my hands and with a rag is it doesn't work it into the leather, I feel, as much as possible, as much as it possibly can. And the rag, I feel like, absorbs more of the conditioner than the boots do. So this is just my personal experience. You might not feel that way once you start to do it or if you do it already. But you can also do this with a brush. You can use a big brush or a little brush. I like this little tiny one. It's from Kirby Ellison Hanger Project. It's their Wellington brush. And this has just a nice backbone to it. It's not gonna absorb too much of the uh, leather conditioner. It's pretty much gonna stay outside the brush for you. And that's what you want. You know, the brush just does such a great job at working that conditioner into the cracks and crevices and full, not cracks, but you don't want cracked boots. But it does so well working into the creases and just the hard to get areas of the leather. Now, how I'll typically do this is, and I'm only gonna do one of the boots, but you wanna do both at the same time. You're gonna want to first clean off your boot. You know, any dirt, dust that's on it, Use a bigger brush like this. If it's really badly soiled, you can use a wet rag or a, or a cleaner. But take that brush and give it a once over if it's not real bad, just to get all that dust off any of the debris. You want to especially get down here in the welt. Oh, 
down in here in the well you want to get because that's where a lot of your gravel and stuff tends to accumulate and get stuck. So I'm just going to take my brush, give it a once over. Get around the piping too, make sure you get that. This little thing that runs down the boot here, it's called piping, for those of you that did not know. So once I'm done with that, what I'll do is I'll take the leather conditioner, give it a good shake, open it up. And sometimes if this is real full, it'll fire out, so point it away from you. You don't want to get projectiled in your eyeball. And I will just make a line. And depending on, you know, last time you did your boots, you might use more or less. It just depends on how um, thirsty that leather is. If it's real thirsty, it's going to want to drink, so you're going to want to feed it more. You know, make sure you water your leather. It's like a plant, I guess. <laughs> but I'll just take the brush and work as much of that in as I can and stretch it as far as I can with the brush. Yeah, don't overdo it, but don't be uh, greedy with it either. So, these I actually just recently did, so I'm not gonna have to really do too, too much with this. Make sure you're getting in the welt there real good. Yeah, I just did these last week and I haven't really worn them. I think I've worn them once since then, so, yeah, these don't really need conditioned. I don't have a pair of does because I did them all last week. So you'll see it's actually has a little bit of a sheen to it. You can tell it's moist, it's um, drinking up that leather, or that leather, <laughs> it's drinking up that leather. <laughs> it's drinking up that conditioner very nicely. So I pretty much wore that out. So what I'll do is wherever I stopped at, so since I stopped around here on the boot, I'll start there and apply another line so far along and make sure you're getting along your um, ankle too where you bend your foot where you bend a lot you want to make sure you're getting in there real good and actually you don't even need to polish whenever you're using the big four I'm not sure about all leather conditioners but with the big four it does add a little bit of a shine in there you can um, once it dries you can buff it with a rag or a buffing brush and um, it'll bring out a little bit of a shine. So it's like a good little quick uh, product to use too. I'll just do a little bit on the back there just to get something in there. And just work, do the last side there. And we're gonna just do that side there and we'll finish up and I didn't need much on that side since I got that first pass it got the um, that side pretty good just off that alone so I'm just gonna take the brush and do a little bit of a once over make sure everything's spread nice and even and you can also do the shaft if you want to I typically don't some people do some people don't it's just a matter of personal preference if you do it you know it doesn't hurt to do it so you know don't um, don't be afraid to do the shaft if you want to. It's just going to benefit it. Now, my final thoughts are, you know, the Big Four, I have noticed tremendous results with ever since I started using it about, I think I started using the Big Four and really um, taking better care of my boots about a year ago. And I've noticed tremendous results ever since. It's just, it's made them look so much better, so much more comfortable because this is also gonna soften up your leather. And I have not had any issues with cracking whatsoever. And I do wear my boots fairly often. I have four pairs I rotate between, but I wear them often. It's the only thing that I wear. So they get their wear in. Now, do you have to get the Big Four, Big four brand? Not necessarily. Saphir, while it's a little bit higher end, it is a little bit better quality too. This is their shoe polish I have here. It's the Modality Or Shoe Polish. It's a cream polish. They also make a conditioner called the Severe Renovator. Highly recommended. If you're gonna go with a any two brands, either pick the Big, big Four, if you're on a little bit of a budget, if you don't have to watch your money as much, go for the Renovator. And it's white like this is. It's not colored, so it's not gonna mess up the color of your boots whatsoever. So you can just buy the Renovator and be done with it. Now, you know, if you don't use it, 
eventually you're going to lose it. So if you don't use the leather conditioner, your boots are eventually eventually going to uh, die down, die out, and not um, last quite as long. So that's all I have for you guys so much. If you guys are interested in buying the Bic, I'll uh, link it in the description below. And if you guys are um, looking for a great pair of socks to wear with your cowboy boots, check out my last video on the cinch socks. I'll link that in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night. I'll see you in the next one.